and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. Don't worry guys, I'm not going to ruin your day. So for today's topic, we're gonna talk about difference quotient. So the different quotient is under the discussion in your calculus class. But, but don't worry, we will just slightly scratch the surface of a calculus. Actually, this is the fundamental of derivative, also known as the rate of change. In short, the slope of a curve, in particular, limits. Okay, so to introduce to you the formula that we're going to use, we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over <clears throat> delta x. And then another one, we have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So guys, the first formula and the second formula, they are just the same. So they are just simply different. The difference between the two is just simply the notation. So the first one, they use as delta x, while the other one uses just simply h. Okay, so in particular to this topic, we'll be using the second one. So this is the formula that we're going to use. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so let's have an example number one. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So ito nga yung gagamitin natin na function. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So to do that, every time we see the variable x in our function, okay, so this time around, ito yung ating variable x, okay? So we will replace that with the function x plus h. So how are we going to do that? Yan, ganito. Okay? So 2x becomes x plus h plus 3 minus f of x. So our f of x is the whole function. So this is our f of x and then our f of x is simply 2x plus 3. We will just simply copy that on the side and then divided by h. And then from here, we will distribute our value inside the parentheses. And so, also the uh, negative symbol inside the parentheses. So, our answer becomes 2x plus 2h plus 3 minus 2x minus 3 divided by h. So, as you can see, on our numerator, we have a lot of terms that are in common. So, we're going to uh, apply the addition and subtraction so with that one. So, 2x minus 2, 2x is equal to 0. So, we will just simply cancel that one. And then also 3 and negative 3 is also 0. That will be cancelled also. So we will just simply left with 2h divided by h or simply h 2h divided by h is just simply 2. So that would be our answer for number 1. Okay, now we can try now our example number 2. f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. So we'll use the same formula, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So for this one, papalita natin si x squared. Okay, so we have x, we will replace by x plus h raised to the second power plus 2 times x. So again, we have x plus h there, minus 3, and then minus f of x. So this the f of x, remember, is 2 x squared plus 2x minus 3 divided by h. And then from here, as you can see, this one in, is in square root, so we will replace that. We will expand this one, and then we will distribute this term. Okay? So we will be distributing this one. And then from here, we will also distribute the negative sign inside the parentheses. So our answer would be x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. And then the other one, 2 times x, we have 2x. 2 times h, we have 2h minus 3. And then distribute, distributing the negative sign inside the parentheses, we have negative x squared minus 2x plus 3 divided by h. And then from here, we have common terms to cancel. x squared, cancel. And then minus x squared. We also have negative 3, positive 3. That will also be 0. And then we also have 2x minus 2x. That will be also 0. So we, ha we have now 2x, 2hx plus h squared 
plus 2H all over H. Now, let's proceed to solve the final answer. So, this is our answer from the previous slide, 2HX plus H squared plus 2H divided by H. So, we have a common term on uh, the numerator. So, we simply we factor out the common term, which is H. That would be H times the quantity 2X plus H plus 2 divided by H. So, from here, we can now cancel H since they both have H on the numerator and on the denominator. So, we will just simply left with 2X plus H plus 2. And that would be our answer for question number two. Okay, now let's try to answer number three. The time around, we have a rational function. Okay, so alam naman natin na kapag fraction na, eh, inaayawan natin ano. So let's try this one. So x plus 3 divided by x minus 4. So every time we see the variable x, we will replace that with x plus h. So let's see. That will become x plus h plus 3 divided by x plus h minus 4 minus x plus 3 divided by x minus 4, which is our f of x. So from here, we can simply remove the parentheses both on numerator and denominator since it's simply an addition and subtraction after, right after the parentheses. So that, that will become x plus h plus 3 all over x plus h minus 4 minus x plus 3 divided by x minus 4. So to, to simplify this one, we can simply uh, cross multiply. Okay, so remember we still divide this by h. Okay, so let's solve for that one. Now from here, we can multiply that. And the result would be x minus 4 times x plus h plus 3 minus x plus 3 times the quantity x plus h minus 4 all over x plus h minus 4 times x minus 4. So if you ask me where this number coming from, so this is our LCD, okay, from our, uh, from our denominator. So don't get confused with that one. And then from here, we will simply apply the distribution. So x times x, x times h, x times 3, and then the other number, negative 4 times x, negative 4 times h, negative 4 times 3. And then the resulting number would be x squared plus hx plus 3x minus 4x minus 4h minus 12. And then we will do the same on uh, the difference. So this is x times x, x times h, x times negative 4. So 3 times x, 3 times h, 3 times negative 4. So that would become x squared plus hx minus 4x plus 3x plus 3h minus 12. And then, of course, we will divide both, uh, both number by our denominator or LCD. Okay, so to combine all those numbers, so we have the quantity x squared plus hx plus 3x minus 4x minus 4h minus 12 minus the quantity x squared plus hx minus 4x plus 3x plus 3h minus 12 all over our denominator x plus h minus 4 times x minus 4. So from here, we can now cancel our parentheses on our first number. Since there is no other number outside the parentheses, so we can simply remove that parentheses. But from here, before removing the parentheses, we have to dis distribute the negative sign. So negative times x, that's negative. And then times positive, that's also negative. Negative times negative, that's positive. And then negative times positive, that's become, that becomes negative. And then same time, negative, and then that becomes positive. So we have this answer. So we just re remove the parentheses and then distribute the negative side inside the parentheses. And then the same, we will divide it by our denominator. And then from here, we can now do our cancellation or simply combining like terms. So x squared minus x squared, that's zero. So we simply cancel that one. So we have positive hx minus hx, that will also zero positive 3x, and also negative 3x, that is also 0, negative 4x, and 
positive 4x that is also zero. So, so anyway, we can you can also combine positive 3x and negative 4x at the same time on also on this side. But eventually we can also cancel that direct loop. So, para makani minimize tayo ng space. Okay. So from here we also have common term like negative 12 and positive 12, and then this one we cannot cancel negative 4h and negative 3h since uh, they have the same uh, sign, which is negative. So all we have to do is just to simply combine that. And then we will just simply left with negative 4h minus 3h. That would become negative 7h all over our denominator. Okay. So let's proceed with that one. This is negative 7h divided by the LCD x plus h minus 4 times x minus 4 and then this time around since uh, we have much space now we can now divide by h or we can simply write in another method so negative 7h divided by x plus h minus 4 times the quantity x minus 4 times 1 over h instead of dividing we can simply multiply that okay so from here we have the common term h we can cancel that and then we would just simply left with negative 7 all over x plus h minus 4 times the quantity x minus 4. And that would become our final answer. So last on our example, we have a radical function. So f of x is equal to square root of 3x minus 5. So don't you worry, guys. This is uh, one of the simplest uh, problem in this particular example. Okay, so how are we going to do that? We will do, we will apply the same rule, simply replace the value of x with x plus h. Okay, so we have this one, the square root of 3 times x plus h minus 5, and then minus f of x, that is the square root of 3x minus 5 divided by h. And then as you can see from here, we have no common term on each radical side, so therefore we cannot simplify further our numerator. So also the denominator, we cannot simplify it because it's already simplified. So therefore, if there is no simplification for this term, this would become our final answer. Okay. So when you deal with uh, limits and uh, difference quotient in calculus, you will know why this is not yet the final answer. Okay. But for the meantime, this is our final answer. Okay. So that's all for today guys. I hope you learn from this discussion and then I hope to see you soon on our next video. Bye bye everyone.